mac and cheese with a birria bomb. It's what's for dinner. Let's make this. I have two pounds of chuck roast and a birria bomb, so you know I'm making something delicious. And last time I cooked this in the Instant Pot, it was amazing, but I definitely needed to chunk it first. So we are going to chunk up our meat so that it is easier for the birria bomb to dissolve amongst the meat. I have done this both in the Instant Pot and the slow cooker. I prefer the Instant Pot. And for the love of God, no, you don't have to wash your meat. It's fine. But you do have to wash your fucking hands, so do that. Into my pressure cooker, my meat, right in. Also into my pressure cooker, one birria bomb. That's it, now I'm out. What am I gonna do? I am going to add three cups of water, and if you're thinking, Jessica, that's a two cup measuring cup. You're right, but if you fill it all the way up to the brim, it's three cups, or three cups-ish. It's not a science, it's dinner. Pop the lid on your pressure cooker and put it on high pressure for about an hour and a half. We'll be back when it's time to assemble some birria bowls. My pot is no longer under pressure. It has been cooking for an hour and a half and then naturally releasing for an hour and a half. So in other words, some time has elapsed. It smells delicious in my house. This is what it should look like. It should look like meat, stew, chili, seasoning. And a lot of you are asking me, is this really good? Yeah, of course it is. Why would I make this over and over and over again if it wasn't delicious? I'm going to dual tong this and shred it up. It should fall right apart. And just shred up your meat. Leave it right in the juice while you shred it because you don't want to lose any of that flavor. You don't have to look like a little crab while you do this. I just choose to. Feel free to remove any giant hunks of yicky bits. The icky bits served their purpose. They provided moisture. They provided flavor. We are done with them. Birria, shredded. I had every intention of making homemade mac and cheese and doing a video about it. I did not do that tonight. I am tired. It is the point in summer where I am completely over everything. So this is microwaved mac and cheese from the grocery store. Pop some mac and cheese into the bottom of your plate. If you're not familiar, that's a bowl slash plate. Like so. Top your mac and cheese with some of your beautiful birria meat and a little sauce. Now, that looks good as it is, but I'm going to add a little bit of extra juice to it. And I hear you. You're telling me I need onions and cilantro. Well, I have the cilantro soap jeans, so I'm not putting cilantro on this. And apparently, I'm out of onions, but I do have some green onion that I chopped up, and I will put that on top. Birria mac and cheese. And I know what you're thinking. Is it even good? And I hope so, because I'm hungry, I'm over it, and this is dinner. Let's give it a taste. This is so good. Next time, I will definitely be making some quesadilla cheese mac and cheese for my birria bomb bowls. Because does that not sound delicious? But of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.